Mel, was a bit of a frustrating day. What's your initial thoughts on the game? Uh, frustrating. Just frustrating for everyone, uh, myself included. Had chances. Uh, should have put them away. Um, yeah, just frustrating. Just frustrating. We've done everything right. We played the right football, but we just didn't put it in the back of the net. And that's what counted at the end of the day. So, yeah. How much of a something in terms of perspective you know the managers quoted something like 19 chances on goal today is it important to remember the fact that we at least did create these chances yeah. there's pros and cons to everything isn't there so you're gonna have the pros which is us creating the chances and uh, being able to get into those areas but uh, when you're in those areas you've got to finish and um, that could have been a four to five nil so that's uh, if we didn't let in the chance obviously but um, that's where we, the game could have been going, five goals to us, but just one of those days where they just had the luck of the tie. The goalkeeper pulled off quite a few good saves, some of them which, especially my one, he was very lucky to get to that one. So, uh, yeah, they were just very lucky in that sense and we were we should have put the game to bed anyway. How difficult is it to play against that? Because with due respect to Dumbarton, at times it was literally every man behind the ball. You know, a rigid bank of four, mm -hmm. a striker, Mark Stewart, even dropping back into midfield to make it five and then just leaving Christian Nadi isolated up front. Yeah, well, we practice against teams we play against uh, in, in training. We practice against them. James makes us uh, sit up against teams that will play like that and we've broke them down before and we've done, we've, we've done it in training. So it's just... It's exactly how we thought they would play. We dominated the game how exactly we wanted to, but it's just the goals factor. They could sit behind, but we we done what was needed to create the chances. We just never scored the goals. The wind taking out the sails a little bit when uh, Dumbarton hit us on the counter attack today. Yeah, yeah, it's just a surprise goal. You know, stuff that you don't want happening, and uh, it's happened to us, which is unfortunate. But you know, everyone in the change room, they'll be down just for today, but. Tomorrow, you know, everyone will come back. Uh, well, Monday, everyone will come back in and be ready for next week where we got a big game. So, um, you know, you can't be down in the dumps for too long, and uh, got to try to stay positive. You know, it's the start of the season, and um, as the gaffer said, it's a marathon. So, we need to all stick together and try to get the best results. No doubt about the penalty today. Yeah, the penalty. Uh, I just knew as soon as I beat the guy, just try to pick out someone. And uh, fortunately, I think it was Rory who dropped off and uh, created the gap for Fash to receive the ball. So, um, Fash done well to just check his body and you know get in front of the guy. And fortunately, uh, Aero has been out the team with regards to penalty, taking penalties, so it was down on me and I was happy to take it. And yeah, wouldn't mind taking them more if I could. Given the, given the keeper the old eyes? Yeah, well, I usually go, I usually have a side which I go, so that was, uh, that was one I just thought, just take my time leading up to it and hopefully I'll just put it away. What was the manager saying after the game to the guys? Because you looked a little bit flat coming off the park. Uh, just, you know, we had chances. It's just it's just chances. That was literally all he really said. It was just everything to do with chances. We had chances to put the game away. Uh, a few defensive mistakes, but we had chances and that's something that we need to make sure we finish. Um, we'll probably review this on Monday and uh, look at what we've done, but we've got to make sure we put the ball away. Um, if we want to especially be you know pushing for promotion and if we do succeed we need to make sure that you know everyone's firing in all the right cylinders especially in front of goal because you're going to need to take your chances here and there especially like Dumbarton have they've got a chance and they took it so we need to do the same for ourselves you know it's good scoring a penalty but we need to be scoring an open play and is that the big difference then between the, the kind of early season games, the League Cup games, the Betfred Cup, and and now because it seems to be a, a bit of a a bit of a stutter the last week, a bit of a frustration from from all the the fans, the players, everyone, compared to the early games when it looked like we were we were flying. Yeah, well, you look at the early games. Everyone was we would pretty much played how we played out there today. Um, that was exactly like fine football. Everyone played well, but then. We just weren't scoring, whereas the other games we were we were finishing. So it's just the way football is sometimes, and uh, sometimes you can't help it. But in this case, it would be good if we could have uh, put them away, and that would have got us off to a better better start as well. Got us three points, but we'll take the one and we'll move forward on to uh, the next game. And just finally, right on that point, it's uh, it's your your favourite away ground. It's uh, East End Park. It's a derby game. Yeah. It's going to be one that the fans are going to be right up for. Yeah, I'll be with the fans. I'll be up for it myself. Um, 
I want to get a result there, especially after what happened last last year, last season. So yeah, I want to get into them, but we'll see. We'll wait till the game comes about. Um, hopefully, I'm picked for it again, and um, I'll try my hardest to you know get a result, and so would the team. So yeah, we look forward to it, and hopefully, we get the result. Fingers crossed, we can. Mayo as always. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.